In the last video, we had looked at analyzing this circuit using a nodal analysis technique. And the reason why we chose this particular problem is because we had already solved this circuit before when it was in an equivalent circuit like this. And we had solved it with the mesh current analysis. And from the last video then, we had determined what the three node voltages were, V1, V2, and V3. And we had also determined the current through these resistors here. Now we want to do is compare these answers to what was obtained using the mesh current analysis approach. And again, this is um, from problem video number 17, where we had encountered this circuit, this bridge circuit, and solved it with a mesh current analysis technique. And we found that for the three mesh currents, I1, I2, and I3, this mesh current, number one, had a value of 4 amps, and I2 and I3 were 2.67 amps each. The first thing we notice then is that the current through the 5 ohm resistor would be zero, because here we're having 2.67 amps in this direction and 2.67 amps in that direction. And that agrees with what we obtain using node analysis. And through the 4 ohm resistor, here then we have 4 amps minus 2.67 amps, and that is, again, 4 amps from mesh current number 1, 2.67 amps from mesh current number 2. Take their difference, and you have 1.33 amps of current going down in this direction, and that agrees with what we obtained from node analysis, 1 and 1 third amps going down. Now, the amount of current in this resistor here that we had designated, we have two of them of 2 ohms. This is 2 upper. That's just simply 2.67 amps, the value of the mesh current. And when we use node analysis, we determined it to be 2 and 2 thirds amps, in each case going downward. Now, let's see, for this one, for 2 lower, again, we're going to have 4 amps going this way, 2.67 amps going that way. That leaves a net current of 1.33 amps going down. And that is also what we had determined from using our node analysis. Using node analysis, we said that the current through this resistor was 2 and 2 thirds ohms, and that agrees here because here the only current going through it is mesh current number 3 of 2.67 ohms. So the analysis or the different techniques are in complete agreement with each other. Where we have to be careful is this resistor right here, or it appears in parallel with the current source like this. So let's just clear some space and just discuss this for a couple of minutes. Not to belabor the point, but it is worth noting. OK, we understand that this This current here, or this circuit, is equivalent to this circuit. Or what we did was to go from here to here is we took the 3 ohm resistor that was in series, put it in parallel with a current source, where the value of that current source is this voltage 
divided by that resistor, like this. And as we said in the previous videos here, is that we consider this part of the circuit to be the source. And we're plugging in this bridge network of resistors into that source. And here, we're considering this part of the circuit to be the source circuit, and we are plugging into it this identical network of bridge network of resistors. And as we saw, that the current that goes through these resistors is the same in each case. But now here, this now is part of the source network, this 3 ohm resistor, and when it's set up like this, the amount of current going through it is 4 amps. But here, the amount of current going through it here is not 4 amps. What we have in this situation here is when we sum this current up and this current up, it's 4 amps. So we have 4 amps of current coming out of here and going right back to the source. So that's 4 amps of current, or that's 12 over 3. But that means then from here, there has to be 8 thirds amps of current going through this 3 ohm resistor, so that together we have 8 thirds amps plus 12 thirds amps comes out to 20 thirds amps. So here, in this circuit, the amount of current going through the resistor, the 3 ohm resistor is 8 thirds amps, but in this circuit, it is 4 amps. And again, what we have to keep in mind is that this and this together comprise the source part of the circuit. And we are plugging in, this is the source part of the circuit, and we are plugging in these resistors into that source circuit. Here, this is now the source circuit, and the amount of current that this will provide to something that's plugged into it, for example, this same network, the same bridge network of resistance, the amount of current that this source circuit provides is exactly the same as what this source circuit provides. But what will be different between these two circuits is the current that goes through this resistor is different than what goes through it, it, what goes through that resistor in this setup here. And again, we bring this to your attention because when you're considering what type of technique to use with the circuit, um, you might want to use a, a node technique or a current mesh technique. And here we could, what we did was we used a source conversion so that we could analyze the same problem using the node technique and we got exactly the same current coming through these, uh, call it the load part of the circuit, but we had to be careful as to what's happening with this resistor and uh, when it's in this circumstance here. And so when we're making these source conversions in different circuits to make them amenable to different types of um, uh, analysis, we had to think it through so that we just don't assume that what current goes through this part of this resistor is the same. It is not. For the source part of the circuit, the current that goes through this resistor, and for the source part of the circuit, the current that goes through this resistor, is not the same in each case. For what we plug into the source circuit, this, the current will be the same in each case 
as we've just demonstrated. So I hope that wasn't too confusing, but we did want to stress that point, and we'll try to have another problem that demonstrates that as well. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Hope that was helpful. Uh, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll try and solve some more problems.